Welcome to our post-game report. I'm Reggie Theus, subbing in for Vince Cellini, joined by our coach, the coach, Dick Versace, and we'll hear more from uh, the coach in just a few minutes. And also, he'll be uh, showing you the famous Versace look. First up, Utah isn't the place for the Pacers. The Jazz have won 12 straight games uh, at home, and the Pacers haven't won in Utah since 1990, when there was this guy named uh, Dick Versace coaching. Let's take a look at the Pacers and the Jazz from the Delta Center. Stockton to Felton Spencer. Utah up 17-18. The first quarter are easily the passer. Jeff Hornacek with a nice little roll. Utah just rolling, 26-13. Second quarter, take a look at this. Off the wrong foot, falling away. Stockton with the acrobatic layup. Utah up 39-22. At the half, Utah's up. 54-44. All right, let's go over to the Sonics and Bullets at U.S. Air Arena in Landover, Maryland. Sean Kemp still out with that bad foot. Rasheed Wallace to Jawan Howard for the lay-in. Very nice. The Bullets rolling after three. Gary Payton up, down, around with you. Cool. And off the glass. Sonics up by eight. Okay, moving on. In the fourth quarter, Brent Berry. Long pass to Wallace. Wallace finds. Oh, nice. George Carl not very happy. He gets tossed, and Seattle loses, breaking their 14-game winning streak. Washington, 99, Seattle, 88. Peyton, 26 points. Wallace, 20 points, 7 rebounds. All right. Minnesota, 103, Philadelphia, 90. J.R. Ryder, 29. Kevin Garnett, 14 points and 19 boards. Ooh, only in front of 8,000 people at the Spectrum. All right. Coach. Let's go back. The Pacers. This team, are they going to be a force, or can they be a force in the East? Well, you know, at the beginning of the year, I thought they definitely were a player. I thought the champion would come from one of four teams. Of course, I had New York as one of those teams, too. That's how much I know, and that's how much things change. And that's kind of what the Pacers do, Reggie. They're up, they're down, they're happy, they're unhappy. Now, all the teams you played for, you know that a happy team is a productive team. This has been a team that has clearly not been happy. And sometimes Larry Brown makes them happy, sometimes he doesn't. Right now, I think they're a little unhappy. Two losses in a row, maybe. I don't know. I think that they have a good chance if they get happy, Coach. Oh, you think so? Well, maybe <laughs> if we they get go happy. to Vegas and put some money down. <laughs> All right, we have more to come in our post-game report.